For more on the financial stakes and the debt ceiling showdown, we are joined in Washington by University of Maryland economist Peter Morisi. Peter, good evening to you. Nice to be with you. Let me ask you, what do you think? Would a credit rating devaluation be just as bad for the U.S. economy as a default? A default is much worse. There's no two ways about that. If we get downgraded, we will have to pay higher interest on future debt, uh, and that'll make existing debt worth somewhat less in the hands of investors. It's interesting because even if lawmakers are, do make a deal on the debt ceiling, Standard & Poor's set this week, it still might take away the country's AAA credit rating if lawmakers can't also come up with some $4 trillion in cuts to the deficit. Why is that? Well, essentially, the U.S. debt is growing too rapidly as a share of, say, our GDP, and our ability to service the debt long term is coming into question. Uh, other countries that have AAA ratings simply aren't as in debt as we are. Let's try to put this in perspective a little bit. If the U.S. credit is downgraded, how far are we from seeing something in this country to what's happening in, in Greece, where one newspaper today described the economy as going up in smoke? We're certainly not in those kinds of conditions, though the federal government will have to pay more interest on the money that it borrows. And countries around the world are going to be less willing to hold U.S. bonds to back up their currency, so-called as reserves, and our standing globally financially will be diminished. Economist Peter Morisi, as always, thank you so much for your insight. You're quite welcome.